Hey, girlies. We follow a traditional husband as his wife transforms him into a perfect housewife. In Jue. Michael was a traditional man. He had married early and he always wanted his wife Trinity to be a stay-at-home mum. Michael always wanted a lot of kids. However, they had fertility issues and their attempts were futile. Michael wanted Trinity to be a stay-at-home mum, but with no kids. And Michael's less-than-stellar salary, Trinity was forced to work. Over the years... Trinity had built herself a career and had received promotion after promotion while Michael's career had plateaued. Despite Trinity's vastly higher income, she was also a homemaker in the relationship. Michael expected Trinity to come home, fix dinner, clean the house and do all the housework. This all changed during an economic downturn when Michael got laid off from his job. This had not affected the household income a lot, however it had made Michael let go of himself entirely. Trinity was fine with Michael not helping with the housework while he worked, since he was at least attempting to fulfil his manly duties. However, now that he was laid off, it was rubbing her the wrong way that Michael just sat home all day doing nothing. She had attempted to talk sense into Michael many times, saying he should help with housework and start looking for a job on the side to no avail. Michael had kept insisting that housework was a woman's job, it was obvious that he would change his ways unless he was forced to. He had stopped looking for a job. He had let go of himself. He didn't help around the house. This made Trinity more and more frustrated as Michael felt like dead weight in their relationship. However, Trinity was not ready to give up on their relationship. She would find a way to make it work. After over a year of Michael being out of work, Trinity had enough. She devised a plan to get Michael to help with the housework. Trinity had decided to take things into her own hands. She had been mixing Michael's breakfast with transformation pills in an attempt to change his body into that of a female. Her plan was to make him more feminine to encourage him to take on more female chores, such as cooking and cleaning around the house. Michael woke up to an unusual sensation that morning. As he sat at the dining table and dug into his bowl of oatmeal, he noticed his chest felt strange. It felt soft and tender, almost as if there was something there that wasn't supposed to be. Michael shrugged it off as he was usually not one to dwell too much on things and ate his breakfast as per usual. And it seemed as though her plan was starting to work as Michael's chest felt very tender and sore to touch as he finished his bowl of oatmeal that morning. Over the next couple of weeks, Trinity kept feeding Michael the pills. The changes on Michael were stunning. His once broad and muscular chest had grown so large that he couldn't ignore it any longer. He could feel them bounce and jiggle as he walked around the house, feeling more feminine than ever before. Michael felt humiliated and embarrassed as he realised how much his body had changed in the past month. His hips were wider and curvier, making him feel self-conscious and uncomfortable as he moved around the house. His waistline had also expanded, and he couldn't fit into any of his old clothes anymore. Instead, he had to wear frilly and lacy dresses and skirts that made him feel more and more like a woman with every passing day. Despite all these changes, Michael was still hesitant to help out around the house and refused to do anything that he considered to be woman's work. Trinity was getting more and more frustrated with Michael's stubbornness and decided to increase the dosage of the pills that she was giving him in an attempt to speed up his transition from male to female. And it seemed as though this plan was working even better than expected, as Michael started to feel more and more emotional and sensitive to things that he used to brush off. His voice had also started to change, becoming higher pitched and more feminine as the hormones took full effect on his body. As Michael's transformation continued, Trinity started to become more and more dominant as she took control over their lives and their relationship. Trinity was starting to enjoy this new power dynamic that she had created and was excited to see how far she could push Michael's boundaries. Michael was finally starting to accept his role as the housewife after much resistance. Michael felt like he had lost all of his masculinity and power and he was now entirely dependent on Trinity for everything in his life. He was forced to do all of the housework and cooking while Trinity went off to work and provided for both of them. She had complete control over their lives and their relationship, leaving Michael with no other option 
but to obey her every command like a good little housewife. Trinity had become more and more dominant as she watched her plan to turn Michael into a woman unfold before her very eyes. She had complete control over his body and his mind, and she was enjoying every moment of it. She loved making Michael wear his old dress shirts to see how much he had changed. She had even taken the liberty to change his name to Michaela without his permission. She was also referring to Michaela using female pronouns. She started to buy Michaela more feminine clothing and makeup to accentuate her new curves and soft features, making her feel even more self-conscious about her appearance. She would make her dress up in these outfits and parade her around the house like a good little housewife, forcing her to do all of the housework and cooking while she went off to work. Michaela felt completely humiliated and embarrassed as she did her chores and cooked dinner for Trinity, but she knew that she had no other option but to obey her commands, or else she would face Trinity's wrath and anger. And so she continued to dress up and do all of the housework, feeling more and more like a woman with each passing day. She had lost all of her masculinity and power and had become entirely dependent on Trinity for everything in her life. And so the dynamic between them had completely shifted, with Michaela now taking on the traditional female role as the housewife, while Trinity took on the dominant male role as the breadwinner of their household. Trinity was enjoying watching Michaela struggle and become more and more like a woman with every passing day. She loved to see her dressed up like a good little housewife and doing all of the housework while she went off to work. One day, Trinity came home from work and announced that she wanted to adopt children. Michaela was initially hesitant, thinking that she wouldn't be able to handle the responsibilities of being a full-time mum. However, Trinity reassured her that she would be there to support her every step of the way and that she would make an excellent mother to their future children. With her encouragement and support, Michaela agreed to adopt children and became a full-time mum. She was now responsible for taking care of their children's every need and ensuring that their home was a happy and loving environment for them to grow up in. Michaela felt more fulfilled than ever before as she spent her days taking care of their children and making sure that they were happy and healthy. She had finally found her purpose and her place in their family dynamic, and she was grateful for Trinity's support and guidance throughout this entire journey. As they settled into their roles as parents, Trinity continued to work hard and provide for their family, while Michaela took on the responsibilities of being a full-time mum and housewife. However, Trinity was not done. In an ultimate test of loyalty, she wanted Michaela to give up the last shred of her manhood entirely. Michaela was not receptive at first, however Trinity convinced her saying that they had not used her bits in ages. Furthermore, they had opted to adopt children so it's not like they were going to need it. Trinity wanted her pretty little housewife to be just that. She was really happy with how Michaela had turned out and didn't want her to ever change back. The week of the surgery was hazy with Michaela trying to adjust to her new reality. There was no going back anymore. After the surgery, Trinity was on Michaela's bedside. She kissed Michaela's cheek and said, You have done it, honey. You are my pretty little wife now. Michaela couldn't see her new parts as they were bandaged for recovery but she could feel that something was missing. Her train of thoughts were interrupted by Trinity going down on one knee. Michella couldn't believe her eyes. Trinity had bought a ring. Since you are no longer Michael, I thought we should renew our marriage license with a little ceremony. That is a great idea, replied Michaela with tears in her eyes. She couldn't hold her emotions back any more. What had her life become? Just six months ago, she was a big, muscular man. I took the liberty of inviting all of our friends. Everything is planned out. It was clear that Trinity wanted everyone in Michaela's life to be aware of her new identity. When the wedding day came, Trinity had worn a masculine-looking suit that was custom-fitted to her figure. They had picked Michaela a gorgeous wedding gown that accentuated her figure and showed her bust. Michaela's family and friends were all in attendance. Michelle was trying to avoid their gaze, but she couldn't escape any more once her father approached her. Oh, honey, he said. Trinity told us about your identity struggles. I wish you would have told us. I want you to know that both your mother and I love you, 
and support you no matter how you decide to live your life. With that, Michaela's eyes filled with tears. She was glad her family had accepted her new self. She gave a tight hug to her father. Michaela was finally ready to live her life as a beautiful and brave woman and raise her children in a happy home. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.